In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an animated product poster in After Effects without using any plugins. Let's create a new composition. This one's going to be main. First, let's create the background. For that, I'll select the ellipse tool and make the fill color off white. Then I'm going to drag from the center holding Ctrl and Shift at the same time to get the proportional size. Make it nice and big until it covers the entire composition. Align perfectly in the center. Then press S to bring our scale. Create a keyframe at the beginning. Make the value zero. Go one second forward. Set the scale to 100%. Then select the keyframes. Right click any of them, keyframe assistant, easy use, or you can press F9, that's what I'll be doing from now on. Then let's head over to the graph editor, right click, make sure you are in edit speed graph, then just select the keyframes and drag the handles all the way to the center to create a massive peak to make a snappy animation of the background. That's it for the background, let's rename the shape layer to BG and lock it. Now let's create a new composition and name this one media. Then drag your product photo into here, press S and adjust the scale if you need that. Then let's go back to the main composition and drag the media comp above the background. Switch back to the selection tool and place your product whatever you want it to be. Let's now select the media comp, move to the beginning, press S to bring up scale, create a keyframe, set the value to zero, move one second forward, set scale to 120%. Then move 10 frames forward and set the scale to 100. Drag and select all the keyframes, press F9, go to the graph editor, so drag and select all the keyframes and pull the handle all the way to the right. Hold shift so they snap. Then let's offset the media comp to 15 frames so that the background animates first and then the product comes in. Now let's move to the end scale keyframe, select the media comp, press P4 position and create keyframe. Now let's duplicate the media comp twice by going to edit to duplicate or press Ctrl D as a shortcut. Then let's move one second forward so that would be two seconds 25 frames. I'm going to select the second media and drag it to the left so we can see it. Then I'm going to select the third media and drag it so we can see all of our medias. Let's create a variety in colors by changing individual colors of the product. For that we can use hue and saturation effects and presets. Search for it and add it to the media comp. Then by just dragging the master hue slider, we can see that the colors are changing. So you're free to choose your own colors. Then just copy and paste the hue and saturation to the other media and drag the hue slider further to give it a different color. Then select all the medias, press P for position and select the keyframes of the bottom medias. Press F9, go to the graph editor, select this keyframe and drag it all the way to the left. And that's essentially what we have. Let's select all the media comps, right click, pre-compose, I'm going to name this a media underscore all. Then I'm going to search for light sweep and effects and presets and add this to the media all composition. I'm going to set direction to zero degrees and bring the center point to the left of our product. I'm also going to set swap intensity to 50. Then I'm going to move to two seconds, 15 frames and create a keyframe for the center of the light sweep. Move half a second forward so that would be 15 frames at three seconds and drag the center point across to the right side. This will have a quick highlight going across the product. Let's also search for drop shadow and effects and presets and add this to the media all. I'm going to set opacity to 100%, distance to 40 and soft to 200. This will have a soft shadow separating the products from the background. Then I'm going to select the media all composition, select the pan behind tool and place the anchor point roughly in the center of our product. Then I'm going to move to the beginning of the timeline, switch back to the selection tool, press R, then hold shift and press S to bring up both of those properties and create keyframes for scale and rotation. I'm going to set rotation to minus 10, go to 5 seconds and set scale to 110% and rotation to positive 10 degrees. That way the products will constantly animate rather than being static. That's it for the product, so let's now select the type tool. I'm using Montserrat Black and I'm going to type the text, something like new product launch. I'm going to switch back to the selection tool, properly position the text and resize it slightly. Let's create the scaling animation for the text so they match with the product animation. Let's click the drop down for the text, click on the animate, scale, then click on the add button, property, opacity. Set scale and opacity both to 0%, then open range selector. Move to the beginning of the composition, create a keyframe for offset, set the value to minus 100%, move one second forward, Set it to a positive 100%. Open advanced drop down, set shape to ramp up and ease high all the way to 100%. Let's also offset the text to 15 frames so it matches with the product animation. Now let's create the background for the text. For that, I'll select the rounded rectangle tool. Give it a fill of a uh, white color. Make sure you're not selecting anything. Let's move forward a bit. Zoom in and create a shape around the text. Then place the shape layer below the text so we can see it. Switch back to the selection tool and drag the shape holding control so it snaps into place. As you can see, the text is properly positioned in the center of our background. Let's offset the shape layer to 15 frames as well. Move to the 15 frames mark, select the shape layer, press T for opacity, and create a keyframe, make the value zero. Go one second forward from here, one second, 15 frames, set the opacity to 25%. It'll be really subtle, but still noticeable that there's a background behind the text. Now let's select the text layer and the shape layer. Right click, pre-compose, and let's call this one text. Let's select the media all composition, select the drop shadow, copy it, and paste it into the text composition. 
Now let's create additional elements to give out a scene a perception of depth. For that I'll select the ellipse tool and make it white. Then I'm going to drag from the center holding control and shift. Create an ellipse like that and then right click layer styles. Inner shadow, and then open its properties, go to set angle to minus 45, distance to 150, and size to 200. Then let's right click on the shape layers like pre compose, I'm going to name this one circle. Then select the circle, switch back to the selection tool, and place your circle accordingly. You can resize it as well, then duplicate and create two copies of it, so you should have three circles in total. Then select them all and drag them below every other layer except the background, so they appear behind our main object. Then let's search for Gaussian blowing effects and presets. Add this to the circle number one. Let's set blurriness to 100 and select the blur, copy it and paste it into the other circles as well. Then let's search for tint and add this to the circle. I'm going to match the colors of the circles to the colors of the products by mapping the white color individually. So let's select the green, then copy the tint effect, paste it into the other circle, and map it to a different color of the product. And then do the same for the last circle, mapping it to the last color of the product. Let's create the same scale animation for these circles. So let's move to the beginning of the timeline, select all the circles and press S, create keyframes, and move those keyframes forward in time, then set the value to zero. Then properly align the end keyframes to one second mark. And here you can individually change the scale values of the circles to create some variation. Then select all the keyframes, press F9, go to the graph editor, and drag this keyframe all the way to the left. Now let's select all circle layers and press P for position. Hold the Alt key and left click on the position stopwatch. Then here type wiggle, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis type 0.2 comma 40. Then copy this expression and do the same for the other circles. This way the circles will constantly animate throughout the composition. Let's now offset the circle layers forward in time to 1 second 15 frames, so they match with the other animations we have. Let's now create the price tag, for that I'm going to select the ellipse tool and create an ellipse from the center, then select the type tool, and type something like dollar sign $250. I'm going to align the price text into the center of the ellipse, like so. Then select both layers, right click, pre-compose, and I'm going to name this one price. I'm going to slightly resize it and position it into the left corner. Now let's move to the beginning of the timeline, press S, set scale to 0, create a keyframe, go to 1 second, and set scale to 70%. Offset the price composition to 1 second 15 frames, then select the keyframes, press F9, go to the graph editor, select the keyframe, drag it to the left. Select the media all composition, copy the drop shadow and paste it into the price. Let's now preview our final work. And as you can see, just like this, we've been able to create an awesome animated product post during After Effects without using any plugins. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, please give this video a like, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.